So one of the uh, common uh, problems that we see in the machine learning development life cycle is the challenge of going from research to production. And and machine learning team might need to modernize and refactor their code multiple times uh, before it reaches to production. And sometimes this might actually require them to re-implement certain features or maintaining uh, feature engineering of, at multiple places, uh, which again uh, can take a lot of time. And thinking about uh, a solution for this problem, we can actually take a lot of inspiration from the web. So the HTTP protocol, which basically standardizes the way in which we transfer the data across the internet, providing a backbone uh, and methods that are clearly defined. Similarly, uh, can we actually build a similar kind of a pipeline for machine learning systems, where we had a protocol for basically building and deploying machine learning uh, applications at scale? So uh, specifically, that is where I'll be introducing today uh, the UniNML platform. And I'll quickly also go over what exactly does that UniNML platform convey. So uh, first of all, what exactly is UniNML? Uh, UniNML is basically an open source MLOps, MLOps framework that kind of reduces the, boiler, uh, reduces the boilerplate and complexity when, when it comes to basically building and deploying models to uh, production. And it helps us to actually set a different uh, set of functions and methods that are commonly used for machine learning. And they could be used for a multiple contexts, uh, right from model training to prediction. So basically, UniML uh, uh, unifies all this ever-growing ecosystem of machine learning and data tools into a single interface to be able to create very easy to use and simple to uh, deploy uh, and produce my, uh, machine learning-based microservices. And that, that is what uh, the UniNML uh, platform does. Now, uh, let's take a look at how you can basically get started with UniNML. So uh, the first thing that you can do is uh, very easily install the, uh, the pip package, which is pip install UniNML. And then you can start by creation of a UniNML application. And now let's break down what uh, way or like how does a UniNML app actually looks like. So the first one is that you can install the dependencies, whatever dependencies you might require. Again, since we are uh, working with machine learning based apps, uh, you can use any machine learning framework of your choice, whether it's PyTorch, or TensorFlow, sklearn, uh, whatever is your choice, you can use that. The next one that we'll do is that we'll basically create our data set. So this, this is where we are preparing ourselves uh, for our training data set, our uh, data set that will go into the model. And then of course, uh, the model of our choice. In this case, and the example that is being showcased is a digit classifier where we are using uh, logistic regression. Uh, the next thing that we'll define are certain set of uh, decorator methods. Now, these are primarily focused on, uh, pr there are four different methods, right from uh, reading our data set and then, of course, uh, evaluating our data set and running the actual machine learning model. So the first uh, decorator function that you'll find is uh, the reader method that's used to actually read our data set. The next one is where we basically uh, go ahead and uh, initialize our machine learning model. And the next one that you'll see is our prediction uh, decorator, where we are going to be pr making a prediction. And finally, uh, we have uh, the last evaluator model, which is the decorator for evaluating our machine learning model. So the common theme that you see over here is that by defining these decorator functions, we are having separate machine learning uh, capabilities that we usually have uh, as part of any machine learning end-to-end uh, -end application, which has separate methods defined. And we have these uh, separate uh, uh, separate decorators that in which you can actually define any type of machine learning model and, of course, any prediction uh, that you want to use. And then uh, this kind of showcases the end-to-end -end, uh, ML app right from importing our dependencies and then, of course, defining our decorator functions. Now, of course, this is not just it. Uh, now, when it comes to actually going ahead and deploying or running these applications, uh, these entire end-to-end -end ML apps, you can either uh, deploy them with the help of uh, fast API or even serverless functions. Um, and of course, you can then also make them in, uh, go ahead and actually productionize them, uh, productionize these microservices. And these are the common ways that you can do. So either you can create a web endpoint with the help of fast API or streamlet, or you can also create a serverless endpoint for these. Or if you want to basically go ahead and uh, deploy them on a, a flight cluster, uh, on a Kubernetes cluster, uh, creating like end-to-end -end, uh, MLOps orchestration platform, you can use uh, something known as Flight, which is basically a machine learning orchestra orchestrator for machine learning and data pipelines, again, which is an open source project. So you have all of these different ways in which you can do that. 
and these are the set of integrations so again the idea for union ml is to create a set of integrations that allows you to use any platform or a tool that you use in your end to end machine learning uh, pipeline and then all of add all of that into a single application so that your single app can uh, do all the things including your model discovery and then model training model evaluation and then of course going ahead and deploying the model uh, from the same app and over here you can see that you have for deployment you get also a number of different other uh, tools that include your uh, machine learning frameworks and also if you are in integrating your uh, machine learning pipeline with let's say apache uh, or even with uh, databases so you can also connect with those or even have like serverless functions as well and uh, this is the kind of the roadmap uh, for this project where uh, you could do things like model serving model tuning uh, right from uh, this particular project now what i'll also quickly showcase is a quick demonstration of the code base itself so uh, this is a jupyter notebook that i have and over here uh, it's pretty much uh, the same uh, uh, the same things that we covered in the slides so in the first section i have uh, the uh, actual importing of my uh, all the dependencies and then i'm initiating my data set in which basically you can see that i define it by the name of the dis dis digits data set and then uh, the model uh, which i have named as the digits classifier and in the next cell i have all of my uh, decorator functions for reading for uh, training for predicting and for evaluating and finally uh, what i've done is i have gone ahead and actually run my job and in the last uh, one you can see that in this case i am going to be deploying this particular ml app uh, with the help of fast api so again the way you'll go ahead and do this is that once you have created your app this go ahead and use uh, union ml serve which will allow you to serve this app and again depending on whatever backend uh, framework you have chosen for uh, being able to deploy this app you can use that uh, in this case it's fast api and it works very well so again the main motive of union ml is to basically unify all the different set of machine learning tools that you use and uh, have this one single app that you can very easily then go ahead and deploy and uh, productionize that app uh, regardless of whatever machine learning framework you might use and uh, with that i'll conclude my talk so give me one second and uh, and in case you want to get involved you can basically go ahead and uh, start the project on github.com/unionaios/unionml and you can also check out the docs in case you are interested uh, to take a look at the unionml docs but that's it from end thank you so much